Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton and if you are new here, I am a part-time reseller. All my links to my shops will be in the description below. And today we have a thread up DIY five pound jewelry box. This one is an oldie. I did check, there was like a little peel tab on it. This one's from July, I think it said. So we'll see when I get the receipt if that sticky thing is correct or not. But I am super excited about it. I feel like the old ones are usually better than the newer ones, but you know, it's the luck of the draw. These boxes are completely random, guys. I don't get any special treatment. Um, I buy these on the thread up site just like you guys do. And um, I think some of my subscribers have said, you know, everyone has gotten some pretty nice things from thread up. So let's see. Yes, I bought this on July 10th. The day before my birthday. Birthday 7 Eleven. All right. Here we go. We got some bubbles. And we have the. Ooh, I can already see moonstones. Oh, nope. Is that Mother Pearl? I oh, don't know. I see sterling. I can already see sterling. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but that is definitely sterling. I'm excited about that. Okay. I'm excited about that. Guys, I am a jewelry collector. I collect jewelry myself, so some items may not be for sale. I will, you know, obviously say, you know, if it's for sale, if it's not for sale, and hopefully I can give, give prices as I go. If it's something I do not know what, how to price, I will have a price right here on the screen. So this is our lot. This is what we have. I see some turquoise. Okay. I see a watch. I see a really cool bangle, another really cool bangle. I see another watch. I see something that is marked either Sterling or Mexico or something right here. I see another watch, and that actually looks like a pretty good one. Um, maybe a J. Crew piece. I don't know. Um, but overall, oh, I see amber. I see some amber, y'all. Look at that. I see some amber right there. Um and then whatever this mother of pearl abalone pendant is, that's going to be fun to see. So I think we're going to have a pretty good box just from, you know, first peeks. So before we get into this, I do have a couple things I want to share because Christmas is coming up and I know people are, you know, already starting to get their Christmas shopping done. I have two pieces of jewelry that um, are giftable or if you don't want to give it as a gift, it can be a gift for yourself. But I figured I would go ahead and show really quickly in case anyone was interested. This is a new in the box. It comes, you know, with the Steve Madden lid. Um, and it's Steve Madden. You get these rhinestone hoop earrings. They're shaped like a heart and it says love. You get these rhinestone hoop earrings. And then you get these rainbow fringe tassel kind of earrings. Um, and let me get a quick measurement in case anyone is interested. The... Hoops are about two and a half inches. The dangles are about two and a half inches and the hoops are about half an inch, three quarters of an inch. And if anyone is interested in the Steve Madden set, it's just going to be $8. So $8 and you get three pairs of earrings. Perfect gift item. Next is something really cool. Luna Nort, which is a really good brand to keep an eye out. Um, sometimes you can find it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls if you're lucky. Um, but Luna Nort, they do genuine natural stone jewelry. This is a druzy, and it says it's good for positivity and healing. If you're into that, I know not all are, but it is a necklace set. So you get two necklaces. It is 14 karat gold plated. Um, one is a 16 inch, which is the gold, and then one is 17 inch with a two inch extender, and it is designed with love from California. Now, someone has this listed on Poshmark for $60. Um, now, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a little bit of discoloring on the inside of the jewelry container or where you like store your jewelry. So um, my special subscriber price will just be $20. Again, this is $60 on Poshmark. So if anyone is interested in the Luna Nort Druzy necklace and you get two necklaces, it'll just be $20. And it does obviously come with the little tray. So those were just two little extra things that I thought maybe if anyone was looking for, um, you know, Christmas gifts, there you go. 
can't be eight dollars and twenty dollars for a nice christmas gift all right i'm gonna go ahead and pause i'm gonna take a couple pictures for my thumbnail picture and i'll be right back all right we are back and let's get started um let's see if we can find oh i might have to fast forward this this is gonna be loud All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to move this down a little bit like that, and then we will get into it. I moved you guys down a little bit lower, so I'm hoping everything will be in focus. Everyone can see everything good, and um, let's get into it. This is stunning, and I want to see what it is. Looks like maybe alpaca. Is marked Mex, M-E-X. Um, we are caught. Okay, we got that one undone. It's always these little dangly necklaces that always get stuck in everything. Okay, and had un untangled that. This is stunning. I think this could be silver, not alpaca, but we will see. Now it is smaller, however. Look how quickly I was able to adjust that. That is stunning. It's like a dyed blue abalone or a dyed blue mother of pearl. Absolutely gorgeous. And um, we are going to test that. I do test for silver. So we will be testing things at the end of the video to see if they are silver or not. So stay tuned till the end. This is an unmarked. Um, but they all are, looks like real gemstones possibly. Let's see. It's about 42 inches. And I'm just noticing these are all real stones. So that's a real stone. These are real stones. That looks like um, moss agate right there. This could be... I'm not sure. I do not have a person. These are all real freshwater pearls or rice pearls or some kind of pearl. These are halite. These are all stones. These are all pearls. We have some abalone, we have some gorgeous mother of pearl, we have more real stones, and we have more agate. So, absolutely stunning. Um, I'm going to Google Lens that, and I'll have the price on the screen, hopefully. But those beads, this is perfect Larry necklace. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, next piece, we have an adjustable bracelet. These are definitely real natural stones, they are very cool to the touch. I'm not sure what stone that is. I will hopefully have it on the screen, what the name of the stone is, if I could find it. It almost looks like a jasper of some kind, like a, not quite a Dalmatian jasper because it's obviously green and not black and white, but some type of jasper maybe is what I'm thinking. Okay. It looks like we have an Alex and Ani. Oh, no, it's not an Alex and Ani. It's just a little tassel... Okay, so it opens like so. We have all of these charms. Let's see if we can, there we go. Okay, so we have a tassel, we have a little feather, we have what I think is lapis or it's regular lapis, not lapis azuli, meaning there's no gold, there's no pyrite in it. So let's just do um, $3 on that really cute little boho bracelet. Okay, this is stunning absolutely gorgeous there's got to be a mark on this it looks like it could be something really good I do not see any marks on this whatsoever but this is an absolutely stunning all natural stone like a piece of I don't know would you think that would be amethyst with these like faux turquoise or maybe real turquoise I don't know um, beads and what looks like they could be garnets or rubies. You think this could be gold? I don't know if it's gold, but it could be gold filled. So we're gonna I'm gonna Google lens this obviously, and I will hopefully have something on the screen and hopefully get the match. That's cool. This looks like sterling. It is marked nine two five. And we have pearls and what looks like rose quartz and amethyst and clear quartz and more pearls. We have little itty bitty rice pearls, 
We have like freshwater pearls. We have what looks to be garnets and peridot. So this is stunning. And again, all like natural stones, pearls, and sterling silver. And that's about just shy of 16 inches. Just shy of 16 inches on that. That is stunning. Um, I might hold on to this. Although it's a little short for me. I love um, garnets and rubies, but I don't think I would ever wear this. So hopefully I'll have a price on the screen, all natural stones, and we'll test it obviously for silver. And we have another sterling silver item it looks like. I don't see a sterling mark. So this definitely looks like sterling. So we have like a textured, like hammered silver cuff. Yeah, I don't see any markings on the inside of this whatsoever. But this definitely has like that sterling look to it. So if you guys want to see if that ends up being sterling, stay till the end. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all, this is signed. Sterling. Oh my gosh. Ster yeah, this is stop this is signed Sterling, spelled out S-T-E-R-L-I-N-G. Right there. I don't know if you can see it. Sterling. And there's also a maker's mark. And there's it's also signed by the artist. I don't know if anyone can see that or not, but it is signed. It's like sign like a, a script right here towards my thumb. And then it's marked with like a spelled out word right below the 925. And this is absolutely stunning. Look at that. If this is sterling, you think these could be real stones? I don't know. They look really bright. Because that could possibly be an amethyst, a peridot, and maybe a topaz. Or maybe they're all topaz. I will try and Google Lens this and hopefully, since I cannot make out what that says, maybe I can, um, if Google Lens picks up what it is, you know what, let's, let's Google it right now. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I have some information. So I Google Lens it, nothing really came up. So what I did was I took a picture of it and sent it to one of my friends, one of my fellow YouTube creators, um, Marilyn over at Shady NY. If you don't follow her channel and her husband Barry, go and do so. They have an awesome channel. She um, posts new video several times a week. She does shorts every day. Just an awesome channel to watch. Um, but I sent her a picture of this and I also sent her a picture of the Maker's Mark and I was like, I can make out the RKSZ. But I can't figure out what the, the letters before that are. So Marilyn had me a maker's uh, name in like maybe a minute. <laughs> um, it is a Donald Mark Marks M A R K S Z Donald Marks, and this is sterling. Hopefully, I will test it. Obviously, and um, I could not find this exact bracelet. I just Google Dylan's. I he does a lot of like just sterling cuffs. His um more gemstone pieces are more harder to find. I could not find the exact same one. However, I did find a pair of earrings and there's, they have it listed as a genuine gemstone. But um, we do, I, I'm like 99% sure we have gemstones and solid sterling. So thank you again, Marilyn, um, for your help identifying this. And again, guys, make sure to go and follow Marilyn and Barry. Awesome channel. So what a score. Also, you know, comps on this were very high. Um, the sterling, just the silver sterling ones were between like one and two hundred dollars. And then the gemstone ones were obviously more than that. So that this piece alone will pay for the box. OK, um, next we have a um, Geneva. This is a really cool Geneva. So it's Japanese movement, platinum, stainless steel back. This is faceted. And it is a Rivoli almost. So Rivoli is when um, it points out in the middle. Usually it's round. I don't think I've ever had a rectangle Rivoli. But um, it is faceted face. So it's really fun. It has all of these gorgeous rhinestones around the face. 
It doesn't run, but usually it just needs a battery. Let's just do $5. This is a really cool Geneva. And of course it's a watch and it's a rubber band and it's adjustable. So $5 for the Geneva. And we have another watch. This one is a doo -doo -doo -doo. no name. So no name, but this does kind of feel like a faux leather, faux, faux leather, faux leather. Um, let's just do um, $3 on this one. I don't see any maker's marks. It's in pretty good condition. It just needs to be wiped down. So $3 if anyone likes that one. It's a little no name. Okay. Oh, we have the match to these earrings. Guys, should I go ahead and just like pause and Google these, Google lens these ones too? That way I have some information for you. Let's go ahead and do so. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go, I'm going to pause it right now and I'm going to Google lens them and maybe I'll find some information on them. All right. I Google lens them really quickly. Again, really quickly. Nothing came up. So I will definitely have to do some more research um, after I'm done filming, but absolutely gorgeous. These are stunning. They kind of even give me a little bit of like a Kendra Scott kind of vibe, a little bit of like a Bollywood for some reason, I get like major like royal vibes. I don't know. I feel like a princess of some country would wear these. They're so pretty. So we're going to put those to the side. Um, I don't think they're gold, but we'll test them anyways. Okay. So far, we are winning this box. This box is amazing. Okay. So this is interesting. Literally, the rest, the rest of the box can be crap because we got... Oh, this is really bad wear. So that is crap. That is craft. Okay. Let's see. We have a no name. Really pretty. It is a gold snake chain. And it has these um, gold beads that have rhinestones, you know, sporadically throughout. Let's just do... Um, this one's really pretty. Let's just do this one for three. Really nice. Gold snake chain. And then has little charms on it. Kind of Pandora style almost. Okay, let's see. Um, this is a silver tone clasp. This looks like either rock crystal or clear quartz or something. So we have white cat's eye. We have like, I don't really know what stone that is. It's really, really pale. And we have like all of these like clear quartz chips or rock crystal. I'm not really sure. And then we have rose quartz. So this one's really pretty. And this looks like marble. So maybe they're marble chips. Yeah, so we have rose quartz, clear quartz, marble, and cat's eye. This one, let's get a measurement. And we'll test that bead right there. That bead looks like it could be sterling. So without the extender, it's 17 inch plus an inch and a half pendant. The extender is two and a half inches. So really nice. Let's do, um, let's test it. Let's test that. Okay. We have a bangle bracelet. It looks like it's decoupaged, like a wooden bangle with um, decoupage. It's two and a half inch opening. Let's just do $2 on it. It's really fun. $2 on the bangle. Okay, next we have, oh, these are earrings. I thought these were ba um, bracelets. So these are what feels like either onyx or obsidian or some kind of black stone, maybe black glass, I don't know um two and a half inch hoop with um faux turquoise let's just do five dollars on these i will remove the hair there we go five dollars for these black stone of some kind and faux turquoise chip hoops really nice like those okay oh we have another one of these so i'm loving this box so far i love natural stones and i love um you know just getting natural stones so these i'm gonna give to my nana my nana has been asking for gold um like stretch bracelets because they're really easy for her to get on and off so let's go to my nana okay this is missing a stone so that is a craft but these beads are gorgeous these are black faceted beads if anyone wants this would just be a dollar in craft okay this I am going to keep in restring. I love these natural stone beads. At least I think they're natural stone. Though the more I look at them, they look like glass. I think they're glass. So I don't know if I'll take the time to 
restring this. So if anyone wants this for crafting, it would just be a dollar. We have a watch and this is Embassy, E-M-B-A-S-S-Y. And it says base metal bezel, battery, Japanese movement, stainless steel back. No idea about this brand. So it has a perforated kind of leather band. Now, hopefully I'll have some info on the screen. Um, this could possibly be sterling. These are gorgeous and cold, cold, cold to the touch. We have marcasites. I have to make sure all the marcasites are there. And they are. All the marcasites are there, which is very unusual for marcasite jewelry. So this is about an eight inches. So let's see, I'm a seven, seven and a quarter, and this would still fit me. It would be a little loose, but it would still fit me. And let's test this for silver. We'll put that to the side, especially if those are market sites. It's probably sterling beads. <gasps> Y'all, like I literally just pulled this out of the box. Y'all. Oh my goodness. Look at that amber. Holy moly. And that is a nice size piece of amber. That is an over an inch of amber. That is over an inch of amber. This is very like modernist. It's probably Polish if I had to guess. If I had to guess it's, it's probably Polish. Holy moly. Okay. I'm keeping this. This will not be for sale. Um, I don't even have to text, test, uh, look at this to see if it's silver. It's definitely silver. Let's see if there's a mark though. I don't see any maker's marks, any um, like purity marks, but this is, they wouldn't put this on costume. This is definitely sterling. Look at that. Amber, we have gemstones. We have a lot of sterling. Wow. Okay. Um, wow. Like this is gorgeous. Like this, I'm sure it's very expensive piece. Okay. Um, these are all ceramic beads. Really fun. Very boho. Let's just do $3. They are all ceramic beads. Okay. Next we have a, oh, I've had this brand before. Oh, I've had a new tags. What is it called? Um, good works. It's good works. Um, pricey retail, not as high resale. So if anyone is interested in this, we'll just do $3. I'm sure I knew this was probably like $30 or something. These are all black baguette kind of faceted beads and they say joy on them. So, and this says, um, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalms 119, 105. Um, so yeah, let's just do $3 on that. This is a gorgeous bracelet. Okay, definitely a sellable item. Let's do, let's see, um, stainless steel, base metal, no branding on this whatsoever. Now I do know that the small face watches are really having a moment right now. They're very trendy. Um, so... This would probably still sell even if it's unbranded. It does have multiple links that you can take out. And it's Smart China. So let's just do $3 for the little mini face watch. Okay. We have a copper bracelet. They're like little copper. I might see if my cousin wants that. That's pretty cool. Okay. We have a bracelet that looks like it could be silver. It is Mark 925, Italy 925. It is not Pandora though, but they are very Pandora style. Yes, so 925 silver, Italy. Um, and we have all of these little charms. Let's see, this one says RB Thailand 925. It's a little heart. This one looks like a Pandora. This one is marked IBS Thailand 925. This one's a little cross. 
This one is stunning. It has clear and AB Aurora Borealis rhinestones. That one's also marked IBBTH925. I want to see the maker's mark. Um, we have a little star. We have a little, again, that's also marked IBB Thailand. This one says family. And this must be just like a spacer. So nice. We'll test all of that. We're getting a nice bit of sterling. All right, this is a very tarnished um, um, Alex and Ani. Now these do polish up pretty good. Um, Alex and Ani's are silver plated. So sometimes they can give a false reading of being sterling. But unless it is marked 925, it is silver plated. It's very heavily silver plated. Um, they did make sterling silver bracelets, but they are smart 925. So this is just a very heavy silver plated um, Alex and Ani. And if anyone is interested, this would probably clean up really good. Let's just do $3 on it. Okay, let's see. This is stunning. This looks like it could be silver possibly. It is smart 925. So we have this 925 like CZ cross. Let's get my diamond tester out. All right. So I'm going to get that to warm up guys. I really need to get a presidium. It's on my, you know, for 20, um, 24. Yeah. We're in 2023 guys. We're in 2023. We're about to end 2023. Um, for, Oh, God. Look at this Native American sterling earring. I already know this is... Yep, it is. And this, the... So when it's sterling looks like that, where it's almost like on a slight slant and it's in that font, usually it's Zuni. But this one actually is marked with an animal that I don't know what that's supposed to be. But most Native American marks are... Um, are online and you can find a lot of them some harder to find than others but those are that is a native american um sterling silver earring so let's cross our fingers and our toes that we get the match <laughs> that's stunning okay what was i showing out oh, these so um so in 2024 my goal is to buy a presidium so we'll see all right so these are like an in um a matte kind of silver hoop earring they're about two and a half inches and we'll just do three dollars on them really big um you know very boho earrings okay diamond testers on for the temperature that's in my house so it actually shows you where to put your um like like put it on five put it on three put it on one put it on six so it actually tells you where to put the um where this started at. So let's just see if these are diamonds. They're probably just CZs, but you just never know. They're so tiny. Even if they are diamonds, I don't know if it would test. I don't think they are. Um, but it is marked 925, so we will test it. Okay, this is a really pretty bracelet. So we have faux turquoise, this gold shell, and then it looks like a real pearl. This reminds me of something like Madewell or J. Crew or something would do. Really pretty. A real pearl. Um, I'll put that to the side in case we get more of them. Oh, we have a rosary. These are Mother of Pearl. Oh, guys, we got the match. We got the match, the Native American earrings. Guys, this box. We have the native, we have the amber, we have the sterling cuff, and then we have all the, like, all the little charms and all the other things that we need to test. All Mark Sterling, or what I believe is Sterling. This is crazy. This, this is crazy. It's crazy. Okay, we have those. Stunning. And again, they are both marked with that um, animal symbol. Okay, what was I doing before? 
I got, oh, yep, here's another one. See, I figured there would be more of them. So we have this one, I think, goes with it. So we'll put those beside. Maybe we'll find more. Okay, uh, this looks like a Lexus Batar. This looks like a Lexus Batar. This is like the carved Lucite earrings. I think this is an earring. Do we see a match? I don't see a match yet, but I do see the amber pendant that I saw through the, um, oh, it's not a pendant, it's an earring. I wonder if this goes with the necklace. So I do not see a marking on these at all. There's no 925, no maker's mark, no nothing, but it is three different colors of amber. And that is a gorgeous, I would assume, sterling silver earring. Okay, um, and again, uh, hopefully we get the match this. This looks like a Lexus Batar. Okay, let me pull some of this out. <gasps> Guys, we have the match! Is this one marked? I don't see any markings on this. They're definitely sterling. And they are a post back, which is unusual for this style. So absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, next, this looks like a convertible pendant. I think they did this a lot for like Lee Sophia, Premier Designs, a lot of like that kind of style of jewelry where you can like interchange the, um, the pendant. This looks like it could be silver as well. It looks like sea glass. Oh, and it just came off the hook. Okay, I was able to get it on um, hooked back on. Actually, I didn't do a very good job at it. Let me, there we go. And this definitely looks like sterling. I don't see quickly. I, what I usually do is just run my fingernail across the um, ear wire and just see if I feel any indentions, like a marking, but I don't feel any. So I think um, this might be an unmarked sterling piece. So we'll put that to the side. Yay, okay. All right. I have a lot going on right here. I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit. All right. I zoomed out a tiny bit. I just felt like it was a little too close. So we had showed that. Okay. We have another earring that looks like it could be sterling. Um, this bead definitely has the look. And again, I don't see anything. I don't feel anything. We'll put that to the side again. Okay. We have a little fashion ring. It looks like pure Vita, but I don't see a mark. So take that style on course. Okay, let's look at this rosary. Looks like we have two of the exact same one, possibly. Okay, let's see. Are either of these easy to get untangled? Oh my gosh, look at this one. We have another one that looks like it could be silver. And again, it's like a wire wrapped piece of sea glass. So Hopefully those are sterling. Okay. Oh, and we have the match. We have the match. And look how perfect these would match that necklace, the um, that necklace set that I showed in the beginning. Like how perfect would that earring be with it? Okay, let's put that there. And then let's test those with the, everything else. Because we're going to have so much to test. I hope I have enough acid. I'm going to have to go and buy another thing of acid. Okay. This is Mart. Sequin. I don't think I've ever had that brand. I know I've heard of it. I've heard other people get it in boxes, but I've never received it myself. I don't remember if it's a good brand or not. It's really nice. It's an excellent condition. Like I see no wear and all the rhinestones are there. It is a gorgeous, like, so it ombres from like a dark royal blue to a medium blue to like a teal and then to like a green, more green teal. And then it goes ombres back out. So gorgeous clamper. I'll have to look into that brand. Okay. I'm trying to get these rosaries untangled. Okay, these I just craft with um, for myself. I feel like this should be something. I feel like I've had this exact earring before, but it's missing pearl, so it doesn't matter. All right. Um, we have a watch that says 
Oh my goodness, guys. So if you watch my friend um, Christina over at Stina Resells, she just got a watch, a Swatch watch. I've never even heard of it until I watched her unboxing. And this is a Swatch watch. This should, this might even pay for the whole box. Apparently, the, I've never heard of the brand, but apparently it's a really good brand of watches. So, um, yay. It works! Guys, it works! I don't have to replace the battery. <laughs> I hate them. It says Friday the 30th, so not quite. We're like a whole year off there, buddy. Um, we have a Swatch watch, and it's this really pretty rose gold glitter with a rose gold face absolutely stunning i swatch watch y'all okay and it's so funny though that i just we, like christina just got one all right so here's the match to the druzy let's just go ahead and do four dollars on those gorgeous gold gold like foil um druzy earrings let's just do four dollars on them and they are cool to the touch so i'd assume you know genuine um, Druzy. Okay. And then we have these. These give me Madewell vibes or like J. Crew vibes. Let's see. There is no marks whatsoever. <laughs> I might just give these to my aunt though. She likes the ones that clamp to itself. If she doesn't want them, I will have, um, you can just send me an email. If anyone likes those little gold hoobies. I know she likes that style. Okay. This looks like a, um, a j crew or something right here let's see it is now this does have some wear okay i'm gonna untangle that off screen or i'll pause it and then untangle it later oh look we have another one of the sequin it goes from like a dark red to a red to an orange to a lighter orange to like a mustardy yellow orange Kind of reminds me of like a monarch butterfly kind of color. Um, really pretty. Let's see, are all the stones there? Nope. So we're missing a stone here. We're missing a stone there. So this one does have some missing stones. So whatever price I give on this bracelet, you would get both of them if anyone wants it. Okay. Um, this has no marks on it okay we have a bingo bracelet these i just do a dollar on it has a really pretty um design all the way around the, the bangle okay i like this little bird cage this reminds me of like what 1928 or something let's see come on oh this matches those that necklace that natural stone necklace with the mother of pearl and the quartz. We have the matching earrings for it. Look how pretty those are. A little chandelier style. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I guess they don't really match match. But they definitely could be worn together. This is gold and this is silver. It's a pretty close match, though, if I do say so myself. Okay. This is... Wow, this is unbranded. It is an unbranded, um, very long silver tone chain. Now, the chain does have some light wear. Um, I can definitely see some tarnish on it. So, if anyone is interested, interested in just the pendant, which is a gorgeous little antique silver... Um, like distressed um, birdcage. Let's just do $3 on it. $3 on it. It does have like that distressing to it. It's still really pretty though. Okay, next we have another long kind of style necklace. Um, it has a silver leaf design. It has multiple little petals. Let's just do a dollar on this one. Let's do a dollar on that. Okay, this one was the J. Crew, and again, it does have some wear. I'm not even going to untangle it because I'm not sure what I'll do with it. If anyone wants this necklace, I will have a price on the screen as is. So it's a pave star with a faux pearl, 
gives me Kate Spade vibes. Um, with a antique matte gold tone chain, but it does have wear on the top part, of, like the part that goes around your neck. There is some wear. So I'll have a price on the screen on that. Some J. Crew pieces, um, even with wear, are still very valuable. I've learned that out the hard way. <laughs> um, so you might want to just anything J. Crew, I always have to Google lens just because you never know. Um, I think this might be genuine suede. I'm not sure. It is seven or eight inches. And it does have like a little bit of wear. So let's just do two dollars on it. Two bucks on that. Okay, we have some earrings. Oh, and necklace. We have a little pair. Of, we have um cancer. It says cancer and it has matching earrings. It was $8.99 at Claire's. And um Let's just do $2 on it if anyone likes the cancer necklace and earrings. Okay, and then these I'm going to keep and go to my Nana. We have one that's that. Go back to my Nana. We have some huge um, oil slick, like peacock rainbow hoop earrings. So let me just do a cool... Oh, nope, we're missing stones. So those are craft. If anyone wants this for the rhinestones on it, let's just do a dollar. They're huge, and there's a ton of rhinestones there. Okay. We have some earrings. Unbranded. We have a memory wire bracelet. That would be perfect for spring and summer. So these gorgeous seed beads. We have turquoise, yellow, orange, silver, green, blue, teal. Just gorgeous colors on this. And this one's a wide cuff or a wide um, band. It's about two and a half. So let's just do $3 on this. Really nice. Okay, and then we have this bracelet that says Handmade in India. This is very like, what, 80s art gallery. There's a couple little nicks on the wood. I don't see very much chipping. There's some scratches here and there. So overall, not bad, actually. It's like a little nick right there. A tiny little nick right there. A little scratch. So not bad. Um, let's. It's two and a half inches. And I will have a price on the screen for that. And then this is like one of those little adjustable bracelets. We'll just do a dollar. We already know it has owls and birds. I've shown this a million times. I swear I get one in every box. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the rest the rest of this out this is stunning i don't see any maker's marks it's adjustable ring oh i see another sterling earring this looks like native too this is marked m m s oh no it's upside down it's marked sterling <laughs> i thought it was marked something else this is marked St um sterling spelled out i believe and it is definitely native design with what it looks like a dark turquoise, like teal turquoise color cabochon. So I'm hoping we get the match to that. That would be awesome. Hopefully we can like just like see it. <gasps> we have it. Oh, we also have this gorgeous um pendant. Oh, we have the match to this one too. Guys, so many 925 pieces in this box. Okay. Oh, but it's broken. Okay, so this one is broken. It needs a new post. So do you see that? This has a post. This one doesn't. But these are absolutely gorgeous. Native, for sure, turquoise earrings. Amazing. Okay, we have a ring. This is marked um, Bobble Bar. It is a size five. Let's see. Do we have all of our stones? We are missing one tiny stone. Oh, two stones. All right. So that's craft. Okay. All right. Oh, it looks like we have the match to this sterling earring, hopefully. Okay. These are marked 925. And it is a gorgeous 
piece of mother of pearl with like a vine or a um, flower coming down. Absolutely stunning. Okay, sterling, hopefully. Then we have this adjustable ring. As it sits, it's a seven. It can get squeezed in to be a six and it can probably get squeezed down to a seven and a half, eight. So it definitely, you know, fits all the sizes. I see nowhere. Let's just do $3 on that one. It's gorgeous. And they are glass um, rhinestones. Okay. All right. This is really cool. So there's a Buddha on it. And this is Lucky Brand. So we have an, an older Lucky Brand tag too. So Lucky Brand... Um, yeah, this is the older clasp. It's faux turquoise with this really cool Buddha pendant. And then flower. It looks like we have another 925 earring. Oh, no, alpaca. We have an alpaca dried flower earring. How cool is that? Hopefully we get the match. Okay, um, and I will have hopefully a price on the screen for that. Let me get a measurement. It is 18 inches. So 18 inch on the... Um, this one so hopefully its price will be on the screen <gasps> guys stop it this is mark silver mexico s-i-l-v-e-r-m-e-x-i-c-o right there and i have no idea what the stone is guys this is awesome it's a little bit bent but we can fix that okay look how awesome this is a nice size pendant too this is a like three inch pendant that's amazing silver mexico if anyone knows what the stone is it's really cool I'm definitely going to get a Presidium, guys. I have to get a Presidium. So these are probably Peridot and Onyx, if I had to guess. And the clasp is costume. So someone put, um, someone replaced the clasp. Because this looks like silver. This definitely does not. Or maybe they just put this pendant on this chain. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so this is on Beekeeper. I'm sorry, guys. I I don't see a maker on, uh, a mark on this, but these might be something. They're nice. This one has a cross, so we're missing that. <gasps> Guys, we have the match to this, but there's no ear hook. I would bet that those are Lexus Batar, but there's no ear hooks, so I don't know. They're not signed, so I don't know how I would know if those are Lexus Batar, but they definitely look it. Okay, at least we have the match. Okay, guys, we're getting so many good pieces. It's like crazy. Okay, so this one I'll, I can already see has missing stones. This says love. And these are natural stones with facet pink beads with gold spacer beads. It has a key. It has a lock. It has a little natural stone bead. Um, let's just do $5 on this one. So that one's really nice. Natural stone, glass, gold, and little charms. That one's really nice. And really good stretch on that. Okay. All right. Ooh, this looks like it could be silver too. It is stamped. I think that says 925. We have a little turtle um, pendant. So you'd have to slide the chain for that really tiny hole right there and it would just hang like that so another piece to test yay it says la vita and i can't tell what that says and it says hi i h or h i um la vita and something i don't know that mark so i'll have to google once that okay this goes with that hoop earring hey this we have missing stones because i see one right here so where is it missing at right here so really this would be an easy fix 
I just don't know if it's worth my time to fix. It's a Banana Republic. Um, I'll put it to the side and I might, I put it in my need to fix pile and we'll just see if it ever gets fixed. Okay, this looks like a J. Crew. It is. So we have a J. Crew. And let's see if all the stones are here. We are missing one stone right there so far. Yeah, okay, so we're missing one stone. Honestly, though, you would never see that when you wear it. I mean, let's be real. Can you see that right there? I don't. Um, but really pretty J. Crew has somewhere on the chain, has a missing rhinestone. So not sure what to do with that yet. Okay, this one is stunning. This is a Juicy Couture. Love getting juicy jewelry. If you can find their charm bracelets, those can go for some big money. I've gotten a couple charms before, but I never they were never the rare ones. But I know people who've been able to sell a charm for like over $100 for just a charm. Um, this is very tangled. But it's really pretty. Not sure why it's so tangled right here. There we go. So it's a gold, like Cuban, cur Cuban curb. Not sure. It has glass. These are glass, like a mauvey pink tinted glass, clear with like burgundy. We have clear. We have emerald green. We have some darker green. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I will have to Google lens this piece. Well, let's get a measurement. It's about 19 inches, and I will have a price on the screen for the Juicy. And again, there's, I don't see any wear. There's a couple scratches, like it needs a little wipe down, but no missing stones or, you know, tarnish. So hopefully I will have a price on the screen for that. This was a great find. Gorgeous. Okay, we have another. This one is a J. Crew. This one's in good condition, at least from the uh, metal standpoint. So this is like a light gray or medium gray with like a green and clear rhinestone. And it's in really good condition. There's a tiny bit of fading on the clasp, but nothing that's noticeable. This is 12. 19 20 inches let's just say 20 inches on that and um i will have a price on the screen hopefully for that and it is absolutely stunning now it's in good condition yay we have a mark by mark jacobs now this has wear okay this does have some wear the face is in perfect condition. I don't see anything wrong with the face. It's a really pretty like rose gold with like an oil slick kind of AB coating. But there is somewhere on the back of the chain or on the back of the band. It's only right here. It's only where from here to here. Um, and it is marked to mark by Mark Jacobs. So in the condition that it's in, I will have a price on the screen. And of course it's not working, so it will need a battery. But um, I will have a price on the screen for that. Because I don't know. Okay, we have a unmarked um, evil eye. Little, very small, not very small, smaller length. Probably a collar length or a choker length. So without the extender, oh, it's not bad at all. It's 17 ish inches, and then it has a three and a half inch extender. So this actually is not short at all. Um, let's do five dollars on that. All right, this looks like sterling. This actually looks like Pandora. <gasps> it is that tag. If you ever see kind of like this tag, like hanging on a piece of jewelry, it's usually Pandora. And if you flip it over, there's the Pandora symbol. And it is marked um, S925ALE. If it doesn't say ALE, it's not real. Um, and of course, it's marked 925. 
Um, I wouldn't think they would put diamonds on this, but we will test it. Why not? Why not? Okay, so we're going to put that right there. So we have in the third piece, that is Mart. Oh, Christina. You're going to like this one, but it has a lot of wear. We have a Henry Bendel. Or Bendel. Henry Bendel, Henry Bendel, however you pronounce it. It does have a lot of wear. Now, I'm wondering if like some semichrome or some brasso or something can clean this up some. But we have purple leather band all the way around. And it goes into these gorgeous purple rhinestones. And I would assume it opens right here somehow. Yes. And it just snaps open and closed. So Henry Bundell has wear. I will definitely be sending a picture of this to Christina over at Cena Resells because she collects Henry Bundell. All right. Oh, this is the little charm that goes with the hoop. Okay, the Presidium, or I wish I had a Presidium. The gem Diamond Tester is up. And let's test these. I doubt they're silver, or I doubt they're diamonds, but you never know. So I, they're so tiny, I can't, um, it doesn't test. But I'm assuming they're CZs. So and, um, Pandora, yay. Love getting Pandora. I collect Pandora. Not sure if I'm going to keep that one or not, though. Okay, we have another evil eye item. So let's see. There we go. Let's get a length on it. This one is tw um, 18 inches. And it is a glass, I'm going to say. Maybe acrylic, I'm not sure. And let's just do $3 on that one. Okay, this looks like a Swarovski. Let's see if there's a tag. Let's see if there's a clasp. Well, here's the clasp. Okay, so no maker's marks at all. And all the rhinestones are on the cross. So this definitely gives me major Swarovski vibes. Um, it's gold tone with the flat, clear crystals. And then it has a um, an absolutely stunning cross with all pavade rhinestones. And this is a 36 inches plus the extender. Absolutely stunning. Okay. And then we have, oh, it looks like we have something. Oh, I have this necklace. I think this is Bobble Bar. I think it was like sold at Anthro. Do we have another Pandora? No, it's not. It's just marked 925. See? And I just said if you ever see that tag. So this one's a fake. Or at least they used um, the, um, this doesn't look like silver to me. I will test it, but this doesn't really look like silver to me. So we'll have to we'll put that to the side. Um, we have a glass faux pearl barrel clasp um, necklace. They are glass pearls. It is a 17 inch. Um, I don't see any peeling. I don't see very many scratches. Maybe like a few here and there. Let's just do um, $3 on the glass faux pearls. Okay, and then we have this piece. Ooh, y'all, maybe we do have some Swarovski. Let's see. Okay, we'll have to untangle this. Ooh, this looks like silver. Oh, it's Mart. It is marked K925CN925 again. So it's marked 925 like twice. Um, so these are all like little crystals. It's long. It's just really tangled, I think. Or maybe it's a double layer and it broke. I'm not sure. I'll have to untangle that. Hey, is this bobble bar? <gasps> Y'all, this isn't. I have one that looks exactly like this, but mine's bobble bar. Okay, so this is Loft, which is a great brand. Um, it is a cord with um, like an antique brass metal. Um, all of the stones seem to be there. Let's get a measurement. It is 16 inches plus 
three inches extender. Let's do seven on it. Seven dollars if anyone likes the loft. There's the back of it. Really good condition. Nice. Okay, then we just have this. Oh, I didn't show this yet. We have a bangle bracelet that is a piece of painted wood with like acrylic or resin over it. Very boho. It's two and a half inch opening. Let's just do three dollars on it. Really cool. There's some light scratching. Okay, um, we have this rose gold pendant that I don't see a marking on. Okay, and then we had two rosaries that are very tangled. Oh, we got this one untangled. So this one is new with tags. So they're both new tags. It says Vera made in Italy. Madra. Madra Perla. Is that how you pronounce that? Um, and this is Mother of Pearl in gold tone or gold plated, probably, if I had to guess. Um, the rosary length is 28 inches, plus it has an additional length of five and a half. And um, I don't really know how to price rosaries. So if someone is in, if anyone is interested in either one of them or both of them, just send me an email and I can, you know, give you a price that way. Or you can send me a price. I love getting offers. Um, not necessarily on things I already gave a price on, but if it's something that um, I didn't price in my video and you want to send me an email, be like, hey, I want it. I'll give you this for it. We can definitely entertain. I will definitely entertain it. Um, offers. Okay, so I got this untangled. Actually, didn't take me that long. Um, it is about 34 inches plus a two inch extender. So um, this I'm going to have to look up. It is absolutely gorgeous with all those clear crystals. So let's test. Oh my gosh, we have so much to test. So much to test. Okay, um, let's start with the cuff. Um, let's go one at a time, maybe. I want to get a good scratch. I don't want anything that's, you know, plated or Anything like that. So do the cuff. My probably my favorite item in the box. This amazing amber necklace. Let's do right here. And let's let's just even do the clasp. Why not? Okay. So that is everything that I just scratched in order. So we know as we test which things are real, which ones are fake, but I think they're all going to end up being testing silver. So let's see. Spacer beads, a necklace. Come on. It's not coming out of the tube very good. Here we go. Oh, okay. So this is sterling. This is alpaca. It did not test. So this must be alpaca. This did test the clasp and the beads tested. This tested. This cuff tested. Of course, the amber tested. We already knew that. And then the cuff all tested for sterling. The only thing I didn't is this. And this is probably going to be alpaca then. Okay, so that all tests, not that though. Now let's do the earrings. We have a lot of earrings, so let's grab them all. I might fast forward through this part. All right, guys, I went ahead and um, scratched everything. Let's go ahead and, and um, test it. I don't know if that took, I looked at my screen and it wasn't recording. So we'll see if any of it actually recorded. Okay, so the single unfortunately is sterling, but we did not get the match. These are sterling, the clasp, and I believe the bead as well. Um, these did not test silver. These did. Of course, the amber tested for silver, the native tested for silver, and so did these native earrings. So 
all of the earrings except for this pair tested for silver so put those over there and these are alpaca so they're not going to test for anything either so put that there with that so that's all silver yay okay so we do i completely forgot we still have this pendant to test so let's do that really quickly i'm not going to test all of these charms individually but i am just going to test the bracelet because if the bracelet's silver the charms are probably going to be silver too we have the pandora i forgot about the pandora and we have the little turtle i think that's the only things that we needed to test and the cross is silver Every, everything tested for silver everything we just scratched tests for silver so oh let's test this i don't think this is real but i could be wrong no it tests for silver so i i this is silver. All right. So, oh, and let's test this, guys. I keep finding things to test. Okay. Okay, let's test that bead. And that is not silver, I don't think. I don't think that tested for silver. So, okay. So, this is not silver. Wow, guys. So, this box was amazing. We got a ton of branded pieces. We got a ton of sterling. Oh my gosh, so many sterling. Oh, we had these gorgeous amethyst agate earrings. We got Pandora. We got Native American. We got some amazing amber. I mean, this box is absolutely insanity. So... Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button. Um, if there's anything in this video that you wanted, um, please send me an email at brightenyourday at yahoo.com. And um, if you're interested in one of my mystery unboxing or one of my mystery lots, um, I do have a five-piece jewelry mystery box. It's $25 shipped. Um, and you are guaranteed four pieces of branded jewelry, but you will be getting five pieces altogether. Um, and the fifth piece could be anything. But it's all going to be really good stuff. It's not going to be crap. Um, and if you uh, want to see what other people got, I am going to be creating a playlist. And anyone who buys my um, mystery box and wants to film it um, and post it on YouTube, I will have a playlist so you everyone all my subscribers can um click on that playlist and watch your unboxing um so far christina over at senior resells bought one of my mystery boxes and lindsay over at lindsay clark she also bought one and she should be unboxing hers soon um please hit that thumbs up please leave a comment and i will see you in the next one bye guys